We've got a seismic vibrator. Is that what your mother uses? Ha ha ha. Very funny, Trev. What's up, guys? And welcome back to SnowRunner. So that clip you guys just saw is a bit of a throwback. That's back to episode five of this series. And uh, it's crazy to see how far we've come in such a short time. Like, we were a baby there. We were just unlocking the International Pay Star and customizing it for the first time. We, we you know, since then, we're, we're in completely new locations, completely new regions, have a, a way bigger, you know, stable of vehicles to choose from. We've got more experience. We've even got a bit of a beard growing here so we are becoming way more of a man and it's time to stop with the yo mama jokes it's time to actually use this seismic vibrator I, I can't even say that sentence seriously okay so uh anyway the reason why we're doing this is because i want to continue exploring the map there are three parts of russia we've already pretty much explored all of drowned lands we have missions to do but we've explored it i want to check out the quarry and zimnogrosk now to be able to unlock these locations you need to complete the first two missions of taiga oil so the first one here is the geological exploration and then after that, you've got to got to complete looking beyond the horizon, but you've got to get the first one to be able to unlock this one. So our main objective, our first objective today is going to be geological exploration. We've got a contract from a fuel company that would like to conduct a soil survey to assess mineral content, perform a seismic triangulation using the specified locations. So we're going to basically shake the earth in three different areas. We're going to get some readouts and find out if it's going to be a good spot to drill oil. So so uh, we're going to do the, the north point, the south point, and the west point. We've got to get uh, get the seismic vibrator and uh, and make this happen. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is going to be kind of fun. So let's go into our uh, our customization here. We're going to take a look at our frame add-ons. That's uh, that good old seismic vibrator right here. Throw this thing on. Looks like it's, it's heavy. It's going to take down our power to weight. But, um, I mean, you guys saw what the Azov was able to do in the last episode. I'm not really too worried about it. So I, I think we're good to go. I think we could just leave. Let's get on our uh, get on our objective here and uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing actual objectives here. It says just ser search then scan the north point. So it's going to be somewhere up north, I would assume. Probably up up in here somewhere. It could be down here. I mean, this this is the north side of the map. I'm, I'm going to go here. We're going to take a right and we're going to go up this way. I don't see that there's an, an actual objective here. I don't know what the deal is going to be. I don't know if we have to find it ourselves. We're going to try our best here. We got a big old seismic vibe in the back of the truck here. On my way to uh, to go say hi to your girl, baby. <laughs> very interesting thing. So we're, we're shaking the ground, trying to take samples of it, trying to kind of figure out if there's oil down deep, I'm assuming. We're going to go real deep and real hard in this episode, and uh, hopefully we can can find that slick wetness, that, that black gold down there. Exiting our, uh, our paved road here onto the unknowns of the off-road, but so far so good. Looking, looking pretty solid, just kind of cruising along here. Oh, no, up there in the top right. It's showing us how far away we are from the points. How come I didn't see that before? I'm, I'm kind of an idiot. I wasn't being very observant. So we're, we're five, okay, 534 meters away. So we know that we're getting closer. We just don't know exactly where the point is. So we're going to have to go to three quarters of the map, unknowing where to go. Hopefully they're close to the roads. I hope we don't have to get just like completely off-road and go crazy with it. But, um, this should be interesting. So we're 475 meters away. The thing is, is that's pretty far away. I guess it could be like up here. It could be all the way up here. Maybe by that house. I don't know. We're, we're just, we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep our eye on that, uh, that distance meter. And we're going to have to try to... Try to find this thing. A, a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while, bro. You boys just try to catch a nut out here. Just gonna pretend, <laughs> pretend like I didn't say that. <clears throat> All right, got a bit of a bridge here. Don't want to, don't don't want to get stuck. Don't want to stick our tires down in there. We're good. I'm just gonna keep on trying to go as as north as we possibly can. 366 meters. Ooh. I don't like this bridge here. We're good. Okay, the question is, do we want to bang a right here? I mean, 
To the right is the north. So I'm just going to keep on pushing. You guys remember when we had the Hummer and we got stuck in this section when we first surveyed and, and scoped out this area of the map? Our Azov is going through what our scout can't, dude. We got stuck in that exact spot right, right back there by that sign. And this thing is just straight tearing it up. Come on, girl. You got this. Gonna have to have to drop a gear down to first. We're gonna be okay. Now the question is, what do we do here? Do we go up to the right or do we go left? I feel like going left. Let's let's watch this. Hold on a second. I'm trying to look at the numbers and see which way it's gonna it's gonna. Yeah, it's. Uh, we went down to threes. No, it's it's disappearing faster here. When it starts moving quicker, obviously you're, you're going more in the right direction. You're going more direct towards your objective. Oh, it's it's going quick. Yeah, we're going down by, by sevens. We're going down by sevens there. So I maybe even we might want to go a little bit more this way. Oh, oh, oh. Why is it beeping? We're going to have to actually get to the point. So it beeps when you start to get close. 113, 108, 105. I mean, this is interesting. This is like a little mini game in and of itself. I like this. 72, 66. Yeah, I think we wanted to go downhill a bit. Okay. 50, 49. Oh, oh. I think it must be up there. We're getting bigger. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go up. So we're not going to be able to follow the roads everywhere we go. It's going to have us go off-road. 50, 48, 47, 44. There you go. We're moving in threes now. Definitely, definitely want to get out here. 21. Oh, search and scan the north point. How do I, how do I search and scan? Being real observant today, Trav. It's just square. Oh, what? We're transformed. What? That was sick! Okay, I'll take it. Nice job. Now we're gonna have to get to the uh, the west point and the south point. I'm assuming, I mean, west point's gonna be somewhere over here. I don't know. It's probably, probably gonna be quicker if we just respawn, go back down this road, come all the way over here and kind of start going up this, uh, I mean, it, it could be up over here. You never really know. All right, I'll just, I'm, I'm gonna go back down to this road down here. We're gonna bang a right. We're gonna come around through here. And we'll just kind of, kind of see how it's working. See, see where we're, where we're going, dude. I, I cannot believe <laughs> it literally popped up on the screen. I mean, to be fair, no other like all the cranes and everything. They all have their own custom menus, so I just assumed it was gonna have its own menu there. But this, okay, this thing's actually pretty sick. All four of these little pads went down onto the ground and did some shake and bake action, and we got a readout with our. Uh, with our, our very unique, very customized tool here. I like it. It's definitely a good thing we've got the Azov because this is a nasty section of the map. We might get stuck right here. I, I wouldn't be super surprised, but nah fam. Azov over everything. Let's go. Come on, girl. So we got, uh, that West Point is 1,125 meters away. Oh. Oh, oh, are we stuck? Are we stuck here? We might be stuck, fellas. Nope, we're good. We're gonna be able to back out of this. We just gotta gotta go a little bit to the right. Keep some wheels on the ground. We might tip here. Tipping is, is my biggest worry. We might tip. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> we were that tree had, had fallen down, so I knew we just had to send it Sally. Otherwise, if, if, if we waited too long, we we're gonna end up tipping there. It worked out. All right, we're good. We're good. We're gonna get back to a, a decent road here. Kind of taking the path less traveled at this point, but I like this, dude. This is unique. This is something different. I wasn't expecting like I, the whole series so far. I've seen on some of the, the like later game trucks, like mid to late game trucks, they all had this option for the, the seismic vibrator and I had no clue what it was. 
I didn't know it was ever actually actually going to be used. But it looks like it, uh, it definitely is. Dude, look at this. We don't even use the bridge. Why would we use the bridge when we can just... Oh, that's a... Did we break it or is that just a bridge for one tire? I don't know. I have no idea. This is not... Not the best, the best area. Uh, we wanna, yeah, we wanna go straight and we're, we're gonna go around, we're good. Wanna make sure we're going the right way. But yeah, I always, I always wondered what this thing was gonna be used for, and now we found out. You can pretty much only use it in Russia. Gotta love those specialized tools, man. Gotta love it. So yeah, we're, we're gonna kinda make our way around. So far, we're not exactly going directly at it. I mean, technically right now, we're gonna go and kinda going north. We actually... It might be quicker if we go down this, and then we can just cross through there. We could even grab a little bit of fuel. I think that's... I think that's going to be a good plan here. Kind of a little shortcut. As long as we don't end up flipping this. Dude, I don't know. I, I feel like it always looks like it's going to tip, but then it doesn't. We've been very close a couple times, and it, it seems to stay planted. So maybe this thing... Maybe it, it looks worse than it actually is. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know we can definitely tip it, and this is a very heavy load, so... If we were ever going to, now would probably be the time. So let's let's be safe rather than sorry, but seriously, I mean, this, this Azov... I'm, I'm sipping the Kool-Aid, bro. I am sipping the Kool-Aid. Look at that, we're already back down on paved roads, and we're 867 meters away. So we're moving about... When we were going... When we were going south right there, we were moving about five at a time. 44 to 41, 39, 36, 34, 30. Okay. I mean, it obviously, it depends on our speed as well. The update, if we're going faster, it's going to go quicker. This is this is moving about four at a time now. Ooh. Oh, it likes going this way. It, we're now at five at a time. Hopefully, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just, I'm watching the, I'm watching the numbers up in the, the top left. 700 meters away. Ah, I'm thinking we, we probably, rather than going up here and going through this messiness, I mean, it could be up there though, but I, shoot, what do you guys think? Well, first of all, we, we forgot to grab fuel. I mean, it's not like this thing burns through it very quickly, but we might as well just kind of, kind of get what we can get while we can get it. You feel me? So we're just going to fill up real quick. I, I think we want to take a left. I, I feel, you know, let me let me let me take a look at this again. So we just got the one from up here. I feel like it's not going to be up here. That's too close. If anything, I would expect it to be like more. So this one was fairly centered on the north. Not perfect, but fairly centered. I mean, it could be in here, but I almost feel like it might even be down this way just to get away from the first one. I feel like they're going to make it harder than uh, than easier. So I think we go out here, we take a left and let's let's go down here and kind of kind of see what we're working with. I mean, it could technically be down here in the interior, too. It doesn't have to be against the edge of the map, so that's the problem. We don't really know where we're going. We're kind of, you know, just try to feel our way through and uncover what we can. Just got to take our time and, and do our thing. Keep an eye on the, the meters here, because 700 meters is pretty, like, that's, that's pretty far. We're 1,900 meters from the one on the south side, and we're on the north side of the map. So you got to think like 700 meters is, is about a, a third of the way down the map. It's about a third of the map away. So this thing's got to be, I mean, if you think about it, it's got to be somewhere in, in this cone. So, yeah, some, some, so a third of the map is probably about here to here. So it's, it's got to be somewhere in this cone, somewhere in this box right here. Interesting. We're going to figure it out. We're gonna triangulate that ish, and uh, we're oh. When it rains, it pours. Ha! Huh? My goodness, we're okay though. We're back. We're back within uh, 750 meters of this thing, and uh, we're just gonna keep on doing our thing. Try to be a little bit more careful. So. In terms of location, if you guys remember last episode, first mission, we recovered that truck and kind of fixed it up and stuff. It was right here. So that's where we're at. We, we respawned back at the garage. We came down here. I banked to left, went through here. I think it's going to be somewhere in this area 
more so than in this area. I just I, I don't think they would put the two locations very close together. So I'm I'm kind of thinking like you know maybe back in here, maybe up here, over here, like maybe in this dark area here. Who knows? But uh, we're we're just gonna try our best and we're gonna see what happens. So we're we're gonna keep on pushing, baby. Let's keep on moving forward. Don't look back, and it looks like, uh, yeah, we're, we're working it here. We're going down by five meters at a time, and that's with a, a slow rate of speed, so I think, I think we've got the right idea. Where do we want to go here? Definitely go to the left. Don't want to get stuck out there. It does look like we've got a, a bit of a fork in the road here. We can choose to go right or left. I mean, we could just choose one of them. And then I, I think we might be able to go through the, the, this is like a trail here if we need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's just, let's go right. We'll make a little circle and we'll, we'll kind of see, see what looks promising. Take this right side. That's, that's going to put us, hold on. Let me see the map from a, a bird's eye view. That puts us directly in the middle. So that's going to give us a good idea. We can kind of like angle ourselves and figure out, do we need to go a little bit more Northwest, a little bit more Southwest? Where is this thing going to be? So this should uh, should put us in a good spot as long as we don't get stuck. I love how anytime I gloat, that's when we run into issues. Last episode, granted, we never actually got stuck, but I was talking about how this thing made life too easy and, and we could go through anything and then we got bogged down really, really bad. This episode, not that long ago, I was saying how... Uh, you know, it, it always seems like it's going to tip, but it never does. And then we tipped right afterwards. Ooh, this is ugly. Um, hmm. I mean, I, I think we might even want to take the take the left here. That is a nasty section over there on the right. That looks like Tip City. So we're going to go up through here. How's our number looking? We're going down by fours. This whole thing is Tip City, dude. I don't like this at all. this at all kind of stuck a little bit we're gonna be able to drop a gear and keep going we've got something happening up here looks like a bit of a dip just keep as many tires on the ground as possible Trev dude this is ugly I feel like we're doing a good job getting closer though I definitely even though we're going so slow, we're moving two meters at a time. I've got a feeling we're, we're getting close. Back up top here. We're good. We're gravy. Dude, where, where even are we right now? What it, What is this? We're up here. Okay. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we... Yeah, we're, we're going to keep pushing to this. Once we get there, we'll be able to figure out what our next plan of attack is. My goodness, dude. Slow and steady wins the race. We're starting to kind of burn through quite a bit of fuel, dude. Nine, nine liters a minute. We don't really see that much with this thing. This thing's usually pretty good on it, but this is just really tough terrain. I didn't realize this mission was going to be this intense. I, I kind of like not having the actual objective, though. Like, trying to feel it out and trying to, trying to do your own thing is, is pretty interesting. Let's grab this point, see if we're going to be able to get up this hill. This is, this is just bad news in here, dude. Just straight, straight bad news. Come on. So this is the point we want to be at. We're 230 meters away, 228, 226. So if we turn this way, let's see, let's see what happens. It's going up. Okay. So we, we want to go this way. Is that a road? Oh, that's kind of a road. Okay. Bare minimum, we could take this up and just kind of see what happens. So we know. So now we know it's it's it, it's it's got to be like this area over here, and then maybe like through there, through here is pretty much what we figured out so far. We're gonna be all right through the uh, the good old power of elimination. Nice deductive reasoning. I think we're gonna be able to be able to get this thing figured out. So we're down to, down to 195 meters. This is a bit of a sketchy trail, that's for sure. Oh, we're going up by, by three or four at a time now. This it, it likes this way. 
So we needed to go a little bit more north, but I think it's it's definitely still gonna be. Oh, oh, oh! We're we're getting. Oh, we're going back up. Yeah, we're going up. We gotta go through. We gotta go through the trees, dude. It's gonna be back this way. How are we gonna make it through these trees? It looks like through here might be the the cleanest route. I guess we're just gonna go for it, fellas. We'll see what happens. We're back within the area. Back ring it again. Just gotta get close enough. Gotta make it through these trees. Oh, this is sketch. Are we gonna get stuck here? I certainly hope not. Can we go straight through here? Oh, there's kind of a path. Oh, there's a path right there. Probably could have taken that, but I think we're gonna be fine. As long as we don't get stuck on a branch or something. That's a big branch right there, but we made it through. Oh, please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. We gotta winch if we need it. We're 100 meters, dude. 100 meters away. Come on, girl. Don't give up now. We definitely should have... Oh, there's a, there's a path to our left here. Okay, let's get on the path. I just want to get out of the, the grass where we're getting all stuck and bogged down and stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's our, our winch that we forgot to turn off. It said there was a path out here. I'm not seeing it. There's a bunch of water, but we're... Dude, we're 60, 65, 64. Do we want to go a little bit to the left, maybe? 60, 58, 56. It's getting wet, though. 46. Come on, girl! Don't get stuck now. Can I get to that big tree over there? There it is! We got the big tree! 40 meters. Come on. 39. 38. 37. 36. 35. There's water over there. Do we want to go this way? 32. 33. Shit! Come on. So is it is it more to our left then? It might be like over here. Okay. So we're going to want to go to our left. Try to stay next to the big trees that we can we can winch ourselves out if we need to. 30, 27, 20. Search the point. Can we search it? Hold on. It's not letting us search. We might want us up up on this. How do we... Oh, do we have to put our... our we might have to put our parking brake on. Start seismic vibration. Let's go! Whew. Dude. What is even happening? Look at where we're at on the map right now. This is... This is a heck of a mission. All right, guys. So we're, we're back at home here. We respawned back at our... Uh, at our home base, at our garage, and uh, we've got to take on the south scan point right now, which is 1,400 meters away and closing, baby. We're getting closer to it. So let me throw our, our handbrake on, take a look at this. So you guys know, north one was here, west one was uh, somewhere in, in here, I think, and then the south one is going to be somewhere along the south side. Now the thing is, is we're 1,300 meters away, which isn't i mean that's pretty much the full length of of the map so like if you think about it like i, I would think it's probably going to be like somewhere in here or potentially like it, there's going to be an arc to it like an arc like that it's not going to be able to be all the way down in this corner we know that for sure that would be too far it's probably not even going to be here i would expect it to be somewhere in this square right here Maybe even, I mean, it probably wouldn't be up in here, though, because it's not really south. So I'm thinking maybe maybe in this in this corner, kind of like this corner of the map is where it's going to be. So basically, we are going to make our way down there. We're going to follow this dirt road as far as we possibly can. And uh, we're just hopefully going to be able to find it. This is uh, hopefully going to be in a bit, bit more accessible spot than the last one. I feel like our first one was fairly easy to get to. Mostly a main road, got off road by like 50 yards. The uh, the second one there was way off road and some some nasty terrain. So yeah, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna bang a left here, 
We're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna come to this point. We're gonna hit a left there. We're gonna go all the way down and we're just gonna kind of try to try to see if we can find where this thing is. So it's, it's gonna be at least an, an easy start. Who knows where the actual point is gonna be though. Oh boy. I think we may have struck goal. We're down here. This was my objective was to get to this corner and we're already beeping, bro. We're within 150 meters. So we're gonna see what happens. Shoot, this is a this is a sketchy area. 134, 136, 137. So it's behind us. It's got to be back back here somewhere. All right, I'm I'm gonna mark. Looks like I mean this is kind of a, a bit of a trail we could take. I'm gonna look to to get up this trail. We just gotta figure out a safe way to get there. Probably just behind us. We're gonna be fine. Hopefully, I mean it, it kind of seems like this is a little bit better terrain. Hopefully we don't run into any surprises, any issues. Here we go, baby. 124, 121. All right, that's what I'm talking about. 118, 115. Be careful. I'm going to point our uh, point our nose towards this tree that we can use to pull ourselves if needed. 194, 92. Oh, not one. We're down in the 90s, baby. Not even in the 100s anymore. 80, 79, 78. Well, that's going back up, so it's got to be back this way, maybe. 83, 84, back down to 83. So is it going to be? Is it going to be up, up here, maybe? I have no clue what's going on, but we're just going to keep on, keep on looking, baby. We got to get within, like, usually within 50 is is where it lets us, lets us do our thing, right? I'm pretty sure. Get up there, baby. Oh, dude, if we got stuck right here, I'd be so upset. I really would. 49, maybe not within 50, maybe it's, it's closer than that. 44, 42, 39. Oh, we're going up by threes at a time. This is the right direction. Don't tip. Don't you dare tip. Oh, there it is. All right. Seismic vibrations. That's it, baby. Good vibes. That's what these seismic vibrations are. 9,950 bucks, 570 stars. Oil recon is a success. This is exactly what we need. Thank you. We'll send the data on to the fuel company for analysis. Here is your pay. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. So our next our next thing that we want to do is going to be uh, looking beyond the horizon. So we're going to have to bring stuff to the radar tower, metal planks, service parts, and a cargo container. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna, we're gonna recover back to our, our base. We're gonna have to change up our, our bed here. Gonna go with the, uh, the, the sideboard bed. And, uh, I mean, hopefully we can do this in one run. We might end up having to do it in two. But, uh, either way, we're gonna be able to stick on some roads. We're not gonna have to go searching in the, in the dark, bro. We aren't gonna have to Stevie Wonder this thing anymore. We're gonna know exactly where we're going. My goodness, that was a, uh... That was a mission. That was fun though. I enjoyed it. You know, something something different. Hold on a second. I, I wasn't I wasn't thinking here. Can we get the uh can we get the 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 crane here? I am 50 loading crane. We actually haven't seen this one before. I guess this is the Russian variant of what we had previously. 5700 bucks. All right, we're going to throw that thing on there. Got to go back and do the same thing here again, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to attempt to run all this cargo all in one run. Who knows if this is actually going to work, but we're going to try our best. Now that I think about it, I don't think it's even going to be possible to run this in one run. The metal planks are going to take up two slots. Service spare parts are going to take up two slots. I don't know if we've done one of these cargo containers before. That's going to take up two slots. Shoot. But we, we can get the service spare parts here too. Where is this going? Dude, I, I think we could run... Oh, that's, that's, really, that's really tall though. If we drop it, who cares? I'm, I'm going to go for it. Here we go. We're going into crane mode. Oh shoot, we got to unpack our cargo first though. Unpack that crane mode. We're gonna activate this. Let's try to try to bring this thing out of here Do our best not to damage the goods. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need service spare parts Auto load a couple of service spare parts in there and <laughs> This is such a bad idea. We're gonna reactivate the anchor here get back into crane mode We're gonna pick this bad boy up and we're gonna see if somehow we can magically get this thing to stay we keep lifting it up here I want to try to get it in a good spot okay 
Now I'm wondering if we if we lower this and kind of kind of pinch it. Can we can we pinch it so that our crane so that it kind of holds it a bit? <laughs> Dude, this is so outrageous. I mean, worst case scenario, at least we're gonna get it halfway there, and then once we deliver the spare parts, we can uh, we can we can drop off the the container. We can go back to the container, pick it up where it dropped, and then drop it back off. I don't know. We're we're just we're gonna try our best here. Let me let me skip ahead to uh, to afternoon so we can see this in full full daylight glory here. But yeah, you guys can see I, I kind of like pushed the crane down on top of it. The thing is, it's just so tall. I don't know that we're really gonna be able to be able to do much, but we're gonna try our best. The other thing is, is we risk flipping the truck here. Losing the cargo is not a bad thing. Flipping the truck is. So what we're going to want to do is go down to this, and then we're going to go up to here. We're going to bang a right and go up to the radar tower. Honestly, dude, I, I, I think our idea of just bringing this thing halfway, we may even just want to want to unload it ourselves. Like, let's not get crazy with this. Let's bring it halfway. We've saved quite a bit of time. We can drop off the spare parts, go back halfway, pick it up, drop it off. Go to the other side of the map, pick up our uh, our metal planks, and drop them off, and that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a job well done. This is just this is redonkulous, bro. Slow and steady. The good news is this thing doesn't really have like a high top speed, so I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to do much in terms of uh, really messing ourselves up. As long as we take the smart route. Half of the way, we're going to be on paved roads, so we're good in that regard. Dude, this is awesome. Look at this thing. We've even got our dude, we've, we've got our, our anchors out right now. Technically, they could potentially save us if we end up halfway tipping, but I've got a feeling if we start tipping, the whole thing's going to go. As soon as this gets uneven, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it safe. I'm going to play it smart, and we're... We're just gonna gonna let the service container go. Be a little bit nerve wracking in here. Do we? Oh, we can't even see back through there. I was gonna say, be a, a little nerve wracking to see that giant cargo container there, dude. If we if we like hit the brakes too hard or anything like that, and it it could pretty much like soup can our our the top of our truck and just like you know cut it all up and squish us and stuff. It would. uh it would not be a, a good luck. Oh, shoot, make sure we stay on the road here, Trev. So we're gonna be taking a right here. I mean, it's a question of how much we wanna risk. If it gets really crazy, and we start to have a lot of, of leaning to the side and stuff, I'm gonna take it off. But I feel, like, I feel like the dirt roads are usually pretty good out here. So we'll see what happens. It only takes one minor mistake. The whole thing's going over, and then we're gonna be in trouble though. We aren't even using that much fuel, dude. Can you imagine how heavy this load is? <laughs> We've got a shipping container on top of us. Ooh. Ooh, this is... Ooh. Okay, Trev. Okay. Okay. We're kind of... We're kind of listing a bit. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of feel like this is where... This is where you should probably just... Decide to drop it off and come back and get it later. At the same time, your boy has a uh, pleasure for pain. I don't like the look of this area up here. I mean, it's all pretty flat, though. It's all pretty flat. I think, I think we might be able to make this work. Be careful with these rocks. Those are definitely... Okay, you know what? Yeah, it's, it's time to go. It's, it's, it's time to go. This, this thing is, is going. Okay, so we're going to activate this anchor. Are we anchored in? We had unactivated it. We're going to fully activate it here. Shoot, dude. This, I'm going to unactivate it again. We're in a bad, we're in a bad spot. There we go. Now we're flat. Okay. Activate the anchor. I'm, I'm going to play this safe. There's no reason to go too ham here. We're going to go into crane mode. We're going to lift this thing up. Hopefully these anchors can actually... Ooh, be careful here. Hopefully these anchors can hold us on this, this really nasty 
you know, liquidy dirt. Be able to drop that thing off right there. All right, let's go ahead and restore the crane. I'm good to go. Okay. We are gonna be tipping now. We could go a little bit faster. We don't have to be as careful. I mean, we, we look at where we brought it from though. We took that from all the way over here, all the way to here. So look at this. We just have to make this trip twice rather than the full thing. Well worth it, Trev. Pat yourself on the back. You, uh, you did the thing, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, dude, we would have had to go over this. That was, that was the perfect spot to call it off. The perfect spot. And then this sketchy bridge over here, there's no way we would have made it. Zero chance. If you want me to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about making it just by ourselves. Took a little bit of engine damage there, but we're okay. I mean, this, this hill would have been super sketch. Yeah. Beautiful work. Dude, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's been not that many episodes, but I feel like we've gotten so much better at this game. Like I was saying at the beginning of this episode, we have just been absolutely annihilating it. And you guys can see that is our log cabin that we're going to have to deliver to. So it's just up, up this little section if we can. Okay. Obviously, I didn't... Oh, we didn't even need it. We're good. I was going to say, obviously, I didn't mean to grab the tiny bush. Obviously, one of the giant thick trees around here would have done better, but we're, we're going to be okay. A little research base up here, whatever this thing is. I don't know. It's kind of like a little little village thing, kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to drop off the two service spare parts. Now we're going to go back and we're going to grab that cargo container, and that's going to be two-thirds of our job completed. Gonna go ahead and, uh, and turn old girl on around here, run over a tree or two, never hurt anything, you know, oh, nope, tree might not, it didn't, it didn't make it, that's unfortunate. Gonna get this thing turned around, get us going in the right direction, it's gonna be easier to turn around now than it will when we've got this thing on our back. Make sure we get to a flat area, ooh, see, like we're all tipping, tipping here, I think if we get maybe up here a little bit, yeah, that's better. All right, so we're gonna be able to uh, to activate our anchor, grab our crane, attach it. Let's go ahead and lift this thing on up. Come on, baby, get up there. There we go. Let's get it in here. We just gotta get it close enough that we can pack it. If we leave it like that, that's probably gonna be good. Go ahead and pack our cargo. Bada bing, bada boom, we can restore our crane. And now we've got an easy route back up there. All right, so we're gonna go drop this bad boy off right up here, and then I think where do we where do we pick up the metal planks here? Metal planks are gonna be oh, that's not too bad. We're gonna go up, drop it off, come back down around here, pick these up, go up, drop it off. It's gonna be easy. The final push here, baby. Here we go. Last corner, last hill that we have to climb, and we are gonna have access to a brand new area. Look at that, dude. My goodness, so much work, so much time invested. 710 stars, $6,150, and we've got some open gateways. We can now head to the quarry. Pretty sure the quarry is a, uh, it's it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a bare bones map where there's no garage or anything like that, so you, you can't have like a home base. But I'm pretty sure the last one, Zimnogorsk, you can build a garage out there. So that's that's a little bit further down the line, but we are definitely gonna be checking out Quarry in the next episode. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna explore, we're gonna find some upgrade parts, hopefully some stuff for our Azov here and uh, maybe even some new vehicles. I guess we'll see what happens. I think uh, to do so, I think, I think we're gonna switch things up a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm planning on buying the new Russian Scout here, the Yar 87. This thing is going to be amazing. So hope you guys are ready for that. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode tomorrow. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.